All right, Coach, why don't you open it up for opening statements after the Sunshine State Conference regular season title? Well, it, it's been a special year, and, and um, you know, I'm so proud of our team, particularly our captains, and two of those captains are Ari Williams and Adrian Gonzalez. And I know you're going to talk to them in a few minutes, but those are the young men that came here four years ago, you know, just with a vision of what we hoped we could do, and they took the challenge, and they really helped not only provide a lot of exciting moments and wonderful nights, but they helped us recruit other players. And, uh, you know, the two gentlemen that you're going to talk to in a few minutes are, are deserve a lot of credit, are honestly the cornerstone of, of what now is at Barry and the, the proud basketball program that we have. Can you elaborate on what it means to become the first team in Barry history to win an outright regular season conference title? Well, you know, Coach Odio, for so many years, had such a wonderful program and, and, and was so respected and such a great coach and had so many great players. And, but I think the Sunshine State Conference just is so tough, it's very difficult to do that. And for us to be able to do it again, it's our second in a row, our first, you know, without sharing the title, uh, they're all special, whether you share them or you get them individually. Uh, but again, you also have to remember that the uh, conference tournament's coming up, and more importantly, the NCAA tournament's coming up, and you're chasing that national championship. And those are the expectations that we have here now, is to play for a national championship. So a lot of work to be done. You got your 20th win tonight. You snapped a three-game skid. You get back in uh, the winning column. What, what are you most proud of uh, about just tonight's effort in general? Well, there were so many distractions. You know, it was uh, the three losses were a distraction. Um, the, the, unfortunately, young man, I think he'll be okay, that was injured uh, with, with uh, Florida Southern, uh, caused an extensive delay. And I was really proud of the way we came out of the locker room and really responded. I felt like we threw the first and second punch and kind of gained some momentum right out of the locker room. And that was critically important. So. Probably overall that, obviously Elvar Fridrickson and his tremendous play, his will to win is just unequaled. Uh, Adrian Gonzalez, what a great senior night he had. And of course, Ari Williams, maybe not scoring as many points, but just playing outstanding defense. And so it was just a wonderful night all around that we could share with a really big turnout of our students as well. And so much fun when the uh, Sports and Health Center is packed. Talk about Adrian's game today. He he said coming in he wanted to try to go off and he went off for 30 tonight on senior night. How special was his night? Well, just, you know, I don't want to say I expect that out of Adrian every night, but I knew, I saw him in the gym working extra on his own. Uh, this whole thing's so important to him. And uh, he did the same thing in high school. You know, he, he followed Unio Beretta here. He followed Unio in high school. They won the state championship. And you know, the very year after Unio graduated, Adrian carried his team back to the state, and that's exactly what he's done here. So Adrian Gonzalez, uh, just a tremendous player, but more importantly, and it really holds true for all of our guys, just great people, great young men that are showing success now, but I, I feel very confident later in life they're gonna be really successful because they're just great people. You guys gotta go on the road uh, this weekend to play at a very good Embry-Riddle team. So. How do you keep the guys focused going into that game, coming off this big high? Well, I think you now you have to depend on your leadership. And, and I've often said that at this time of the year, they have to coach themselves. If they're not coaching themselves, then we're not very good. Because, you know, it's up to me to, to kind of get them into the situation where we are. But now it's up to them to take us the rest of the way. And we have great leadership, and I'm sure our guys will be ready to play on Saturday. And, Certainly let them enjoy it tonight. Let them eat their cupcakes and do some dances and have some fun. But uh, I'm sure tomorrow afternoon we'll follow our regular routine, be back here at three with the leadership we have. We should be fine. And then finally, Coach, they've talked about some stories of over the four years of you being their leader and their coach and some of the locker room fun that's gone on. Can you explain a little bit about the locker room fun and how, how wet is your suit tonight? Um, it's a little bit more than damp, and I'm sure our athletic director will chip in some uh, some dry cleaning uh, money for me. But uh, no, I, they do have fun. You know, one of the things we want our guys to do is to have fun. And uh, of course, winning is the most fun. And so fortunately, we put a lot of hard work, we've won, and we've had a lot of fun. So I'm really happy for them that they can celebrate and enjoy this moment because these are things that you just can't assume you're gonna win championships every year. It's hard to get to this point, and they have earned it.
Congratulations on a Sunshine State Conference regular season title, Coach. Thank you.